Hello guys, what we're going to be looking at today are the Sennheiser HD 660S's. This is part of their 600 line, um, high res audio, but though the 600 line is mainly known for the HD 600, which unfortunately I do not have a pair of those right now. So we're going to look at the 660S's. Though these will run you about $500 from Sennheiser's website that you can find it on other places for anywhere three to five hundred if you found somewhere that was five hundred my you know my suggestion is just get it from Sennheiser then because you have authentic 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 it's authentic. Let's get into the unboxing. Um, by the way, I have already been into these because I want to test them out for about two or three weeks for the review. One thing I do want to mention is on the box that the headphones come in, it's also hinged. It's, you know, really, really nice quality though. Get them out. Um, the camera a few times, I guess. There's the box it come in. It opens up quite nicely. Give them that. First thing we see, instruction manual. There are some important things for the long run, but if you're familiar with these and already seen some YouTube reviews, you probably don't need to read this, you know, but would be good. Now, I would like to point out Sennheiser's, um, you know, this foam here, the protective foam. It's really nice quality and it'll hold up over time, you know, but you're not here for the foam, you're here for the headphones. Um, it comes with a, um, 6.3 millimeter adapter, you know, run that to a, uh, 3.5 millimeter, which is a handy touch. I know a lot of companies don't really include those. And it also comes with a fourth inch, you know? Here are the connectors that go on the headphone. You know, it's this uh, prong connector. And here's the headphone. The headphone itself, they are open backs. So what's on the outside can get in. Um, comes with a 6.3 millimeter. You know, pre-attached. I would also like to say these are 150 ohm, though a laptop could probably push them like, for example, my Dell G5 can. Though a phone, you could probably get some sound out of them, but I would recommend an amp, um, which is what I'm running it off of. Also, we can see our logo up here. Everything feels nice you know this it's still a plastic but it's durable and here's the slide let me see if i can get you a close-up of how the ear cups you know can move like that it's not like a, a traditional setup a lot of headphones will actually uh i like it and then you know that's about how much your ear cups We'll pivot on both sides. This is your left side driver. You know, you have HD 660. And this is handy. It essentially lets you know how the headphone is placed. Like, you want this to be towards the front and the logo towards the back of your head. Because there's no really distinctive features of it, you could say. And without that, you'd be putting it on backwards, so it still happens time to time if you're not paying attention. Back to the cable. This, it, it's a nice quality cable, you know. It is long, about 10 feet, so if you're not moving around or you don't really have anywhere to put the rest of the cable, I'd recommend going ahead and ordering a separate cable that's, you know, your typical five foot length or four, you know, they make them in all different sizes. And this, you know, you can also chain, change what it's terminated to, whether you want straight up 3.5 or a one fourth inch, 6.3 like this, or 
XLR, not sure if I said that or not. I kind of, my brain kind of lost track for a moment. Now, how do they sound? They will, they're kind of like the 600s. They'll sound like whatever you plug them into, you know, or it'll influence the sound. The bass on them, I actually find to be nice, got the mids are so nice, and your treble. Now, the editor will display a graph for frequency response. Just take a look at that. If you notice, the bass and the, you know, higher end toward, you know, like the very, very end of the high end droops off a bit. But that's typical of um, most Sennheisers. Now, if I um, go and get my um, <clears throat> 569s, they're a little more bassy, you could say. Though, for me, someone who likes bass, the, these are still good, and they sound good EQ'd or not. Kinda your preference there. That That's about, you know, everything I have to say. Please like and subscribe for more content. Thank you.